y'all, it's Kim with a K, I come to you guys with a new video. So, a lot has been going on, so I figured I would just do a slight chit-chat get ready with me while I do my makeup, do a little bit of my hair, but, you know, wig life is the best life because my hair is pretty much already done. And then try on some Shein outfits as I get ready for a networking event. Let's start with my makeup. Like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a chit-chat just because I haven't really talked to you guys. I feel like I haven't been recording in so long. So, I got sworn in. Thursday. Today is Saturday. So I got sworn in two days ago. I feel like it still hasn't hit me that, um, yeah, you're sworn in. You're literally a whole attorney. Like you're an attorney, attorney, an attorney, attorney. Um, it's just crazy. I still can't believe it. I'm just like, what? Someone trusted is trusting me with their legal needs. Why type of law? I get this question a lot that I do is employment law. Essentially it is any, harassment, discrimination, wrongful termination in the workplace setting. That's a real generic, but that's essentially what it is. If y'all see like a white thing in the corner, it's my mirror. I'm no makeup guru, you know, so we're gonna make it do what it do. I will leave the products down below. This is NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. So yeah, I still can't believe, like I have like a whole office. What? Who am I? <laughs> a whole office. Um. First off, I just am so grateful and thankful to have passed the bar the first time. Like, that was one of the hardest things I've literally ever done in my entire life. Studying for the bar exam was so hard. Ignore my face. I don't know why I'm getting a breakout over here. I might need to wash my pillowcase. But I'm not going to let that stop me from recording because my face has been crazy. Life has been busy and crazy, but I love recording. I love YouTube. I love Instagram. I love social media. And that's like my side hustle hobby thing. So I will not give up on that just because I get busy. I just have to reschedule everything. Anyway, so I was talking about the bar exam. It was really hard. It's harder than, it's really hard mentally and emotionally. Of course, the information, it's a lot. So it feels overwhelming, but I think... The pressure that comes along with the bar exam really makes it that much harder. But we're done. We made it. Finally sworn in. Finally official, official. Sworn into all the districts. So I need to do a whole video on like the things they don't tell you that happens after you graduate, after you take the bar, and after you pass. Like there's just all these other things like annual lawyer fees to keep your bar license. Um... Um, getting admitted into each district depending on the state you're in. I'm going off Alabama laws, of course, and Alabama state bar stuff. But um, just things that I just did not realize that you have to pay for and that you have to do. It's so crazy because the judge that was our speaker at our swearing-in ceremony, he was so cool. Like, one of the best speakers I've probably ever heard in this type of setting because sometimes it gets a little boring. No shade. But he was like, you're basically a freshman. And I'm like what and he made a good point like essentially you're a freshman again so when you start law school it feels like you're a freshman because you're new and then when you graduate law school and you're a first year associate you're a freshman all over again so it's definitely an adjustment and I feel it I feel like a freshman because I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing at all okay let me finish my eyebrows and come back because it's hard to talk and do this so right, so eyebrows are on I feel like I'm not having like a fantastic eyebrow day, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going to keep going. It's 2 o'clock and I'm drinking coffee because I need to stay up more. It's crazy. I already primed my face with my Elf Primer. I'm just going to spray my face again with the Mario Badescu. It's so refreshing. I love this. I put it on a lot. So, as far as like the work that I'm doing, I feel like I'm getting a little bit busier now at work. When I first started working, I've been at this firm for a year because I clerked, but when I st first started working as an associate attorney, well, before I passed the bar, but still, I feel like I wasn't as busy as I thought I should be, but I also don't think busy equates to productive necessarily or success or what an attorney should be doing, and that's what I thought because I see other people that are busy and I'm like oh well I should be that busy or I should be doing this or I should be doing that when I'm not yet now I am pretty busy at work but it's just a transition it takes time for me to transition for my job to transition with me 
um, for the partner I work for to transition into all of our new roles working together with someone new. So it's just a transition. <laughs> I feel like that's like the theme of my life right now. Transition. Which is fine because there's been a lot of changes. Going from a student and then finalizing the end of being a student is a huge deal. Like, I don't plan on going back to school anytime soon. They do have these requirements called CLEs, which is continuing education, wait, continued learning education or something like that. CLE. And you have to get a certain amount of CLE credits as an attorney throughout the year. We have 12 in Alabama. I'm not sure how other states do it or what they do. Um, and what that means is basically what it stands for. <laughs> Continue your education. So like you're a forever student essentially. Um, which is good because you know laws change. So with this field it's not just a oh you learn what you learn and that's it and you know it and you're good. Some stuff yes it won't change. Like some stuff just is what it is. And also just learning what it really means to be an associate at a law firm. What's the dynamic with that? Um, how much work should I be doing? What kind of work can I do? Um, how much time should things be taking me? What are the right questions to ask? And things like that. Like, a lot of times, like, people are like, oh, just ask questions. And even in law school. And it's sometimes it's just like, I don't even know what to ask. <laughs> I'm still lost. But I think I'm adjusting pretty well. And I have an amazing firm, which I love. I think I'm really, really blessed in that aspect. Not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I've shown them, even when I was a clerk, my work ethic. And that's important. So now... I have like a little bit of ground to stand on, you know, but as an attorney, of course, it's a little bit different um, work and expectations, especially as an associate and at a plaintiff's law firm doing employment law, like bringing in clients is something, you know, that's on my mind already, even though it doesn't need to be, but I like to get ahead of the game. And also adding the interesting dynamic that I am an influencer blogger, YouTuber, and trying to figure out what that means in this new role how I can continue to do both. And essentially because of the work I do, I don't want to have any conflicts with my client, with my job, with, you know, influencing. Because essentially you are an extension of your law firm. These videos are for entertainment purposes, of course, as y'all know, and I'm not giving legal advice. However, you know, I don't want to put anything inappropriate or things of that nature, which y'all know I don't. Y'all know we don't do that over here. But, of course, it's still something that I consider and make sure I'm being aware of and things of that nature. And because the law is so traditional and old school, a lot of the times, um, it can be hard to explain exactly what I do and things like that. But I think as times change and go on and things are increasing, they're going to get up on game and realize the benefit, okay? <laughs> of social media because social media you can reach so many more so many more people in so many more areas so much faster and I think once law firms realize that and really get on you know updating their websites with better SEO terms and keywords and things like that that's the key that's really all I've been doing just trying to adjust to work trying to learn trying to take everyone's advice and still kind of make my own thing that's a lot I feel like with law school is very similar people have their opinions and their advice which some is great but sometimes it's like sis I have to figure it out myself or that didn't work for me and that's okay I know this talk is all over the place but yeah I've just been trying to be a lawyer <laughs> it's a process and I will say I would say 80% of what we do is in the office Maybe even a higher number. Lots of research, lots of reading, lots of writing. It's not all trial, you know? Trial, let's go to trial, take them to trial, sue them. Sometimes it can be, but in civil law, what I do, it's not. 98% of cases settle, you know, which is fine. But that's the reality. People watch like Law and & Order and inserts legal, you know, TV show. But it's really not like that. Sometimes it's realistic, but sometimes it's like, we ain't all in court all the time. But there's different ways to get like the court vibe, even though you don't go to court. And I would say that would be like taking depositions, 
client interviews, mediation, hearings. So you're not always only in the office, but a lot of what you do is office-based. I'm using the um, Black Radiance Medium Dark Palette. I love this, I've been using it for decades. But I love it because I can use it for my contour. And I also use it for eyeshadows I'm doing right now because I think it just looks good when everything's kind of monochromatic, very seamless. It's a really perfect chocolate brown on my eyelid. And as far as like wearing makeup to work, I feel like some people wear makeup every day, but y'all, they're gonna get this bare face, okay? I don't wear makeup every day. Cause I never have, so I'm like, let me not feel like I have to now. I'm like, look, I'm not gonna start changing everything I do just cause now I'm in a tiny, you know? But I will like to look presentable and I will leave like a blazer in the office and things like that and dress up just because you never know if a client's coming in or what. First I felt like a clerk, but now I'm kinda, I'm kinda starting to feel like a law lawyer. <laughs> And it's just so crazy because people are like, oh my god, you're an attorney? Like, and they'll just like, I don't know, not treat me like an attorney, but I can tell. Oops, my alarm. But I can tell, like, people sometimes just feel like they have to act a certain way around me and stuff like that. It's just interesting because I'm like, I'm a regular, regular, regular girl, okay? <laughs> like, yes, my occupation is attorney, but like, I'm still Kim Renee, Kim with a K. <laughs> Sometimes I watch like makeup gurus and I'm like, how do you not make faces while you're doing your makeup? Cause I'm over here looking like, <laughs> doing my makeup, like y'all, how do they do it? Okay, so last thing I'm going to do, sometimes I use blush, I like the elf blush, but I'm gonna just put on some highlight, put mascara on. Now the mascara I've been using is the Too Faced Damn Girl, but I really love Better Than Sex Better, I think. So then I like to spray my face before I put my mascara on because sometimes the mascara can transfer to, you know, other areas of your eye. So let's spray. And I use this Marbadescu for my spray. But I do want to try the Smashbox spray because Aaliyah's face has been raving about it and I love her. Here's the mascara. And I'm going to put this on off camera and do my lips. I'm probably just going to use this NYX lip liner. In the color espresso and then i have this morphe lip gloss in the color free bird i love this but i also love this anastasia beverly hills lip gloss and toffee so i kind of like put both of these on because they're pretty similar but different i love them i love neutral lips a nude lip and i usually like to put either vaseline on my lips first or the marbadescu rose lip balm so i'm gonna do that Okay, y'all, so makeup is done. I think it looks really good, cute, glam, but still, like, natural, kind of professional, all that good stuff. Um, so, I realize the difference between these two lippies is the Morphe one is more of, like, super duper just a gloss. It gives you a slight color, but the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I could barely get that out, <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills one is a little bit more color to it, which I like. So, I really like the combination, put this one on, and then the gloss over it, but they're both kind of glossy. So my lips just look juicy. Now I'm going to do my hair really quickly. But it, like I said, it's pretty much already done. Because it's a wee. I usually do lay my baby hairs down before. And kind of just do my makeup around the hair tie. Headband or whatever I use to lay my baby hairs down. But I might not even do nothing to the edges you have seen my last affordable voice series video then you know where this wig is from it's from sam's beauty this is studio cut i believe is the brand name and in the style ritzy really pretty color really nice still professional but gives a little color i had somebody ask me that they're like um they wanted to add some blonde to their hair or get like a blonde sewing or something and wasn't sure if that was work appropriate I say go for it as long as it's not like blue, red, you know, something like that. I think you're pretty good. But it also depends on the environment, like your work environment and your school environment, things like that. But I do not like to limit people as far as their hairstyle. I think that's dumb. You shouldn't judge me on how my hair is, but people do it. So keep that in mind. So I do play it safe with my hair at work for now. Going in with the part with L'Oreal True Match in the color Cappuccino. If you've been around my channel for a while. You already knew what it was. And just to 
get that line of demarcation, which is the one line between where your wig begins and your hairline. No, where your hairline ends and your wig begins. <laughs> so I'm going in with the Myel, Myel Organics Edge Gel. I use Cantu Eden, all types of edge controls, but this is what I got right here. And I just kind of lay it down, nothing too serious, not perfect. I definitely recommend doing this without the wig on your head, but y'all see, just a little, little slight, little swoop, just in case the wind want to try to hold me back. <laughs> And of course, you can put a headscarf so you can lay that down better, but it'll dry. It'll be fine. Just like that, hair and makeup is done. So now let's go play in some clothes from Shein so we can figure out what we're wearing to this networking event. The first possible look, entire look is from Shein, minus the shoes. The top is from Shein, really cute. I feel like I wear this black shirt all the time. Really perfect for the winter, fall, all that good stuff. I love the material. Now this skirt, it will be so cute. As you can see, the color is perfect for like the fall season. We stand, we love, but it's a little tight in like the hip area. I don't know if you guys can tell. Look at that. Look, too tight. When it's too many wrinkles, sis, it's tight. And it ripples, wrinkles, whatever. The skirt is wrinkled. Ignore that. But yeah, so it's really tight in the butt area, so... That's not going to work, but I got it in a medium. I usually get their skirts in a medium or a large, but this one I should have got a large because there's like no stretch right here. But it fits on the waist and everywhere else because it's kind of loose down here, but definitely size up with the skirt, but it's cute. Okay, so here is the second look. I actually stole the belt from the first look just so I can get a full look of this. But this is really cute. It's kind of like a casual dress, but it's. I think it would be good for like a work event because it's like a business style dress. Maybe with some tights to make it look a little bit more professional. But I really like this. Add a blazer and I think I would be real good. This is how it comes with the little tie already done. Really cute. Long sleeve. I really like this. Same shoes. The dress is from Shein. Really cute and comfortable. Let me show you guys what it looks like without the belt. This is what it looks like without the belt. A little bit more casual but I still think really cute. But let me try it on with a blazer. Hold on. Boom. With this little blazer. It's like a boyfriend style blazer. I think this makes it even more networking appropriate. This is really cute. This blazer is also from Shein. Really cute look. And I just added like a little belt. I don't know if you guys can even see it because it's black. It's like a little belt that goes on a, on like a, What's it called? A duster jacket. I got this from my black duster jacket and I just threw it on there just so it can kind of give me some shape in the dress. I'm sorry, my mirror's dirty. I feel like everybody's mirror's always dirty. Sorry. Anyway, um, cleaning is on Sundays and today is Saturday. <laughs> okay, you guys, last but definitely not least, this is the look I am going to actually wear. I think it's perfect for a networking event. The top, I got it in a large. The skirt is in a medium, I believe. I will leave all the information down below so you guys can reference it the skirt I would usually go for a longer skirt but I think this is still appropriate same shoes DSW it's really cute very professional but still has some style like you don't have to lose your style when you're going for a business casual or a business professional look add a blazer if you really want to level up this look but I think this is very appropriate for a networking event and just I would probably throw on like my Shein jacket here which I love see Shein I love them I got this last year. I wore it like all the time. I'll probably just throw that on over this since it's a little chilly. But yeah, this is cute. This is it. It's like this blush pink. Ooh. 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 So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed and leave me some comments down in the comment section below. Also, share this video with your family and friends. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you again to Shein for sending me these clothing items to review. Y'all already know we walking with the Shein crew. I really highly recommend the company. Pro tip with on their website as well as any online boutique or online website is to check out the reviews because that to me helps me decide which size I need to get, if I will like that item and things of that nature. So definitely read the reviews when you're buying items online. So make sure you're checking the reviews. That helps me out a lot. But yeah, thank you again to Shein. Thank you to each and every one of you. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Later.